When you think of pot au choux, one of the most common things you think of are eclairs or cream puffs or other items like that. This is using pot au choux in a very different recipe. It's almost like a mini almond coffee cake, which is going to puff up. And we're going to start off with the base, which is one cup of regular all-purpose flour. And then I have a stick of room temperature butter, which I'm going to kind of cut up already. And we're going to create a base pastry. pastry uh, cutter. I don't know if you have one of these. They're very common. Um, if you don't, they're wonderful to use. I use them all the time. If you don't have one, you can use two forks and break up the uh, pastry. So now I'm just going to go through and blend all that butter in there until, until it becomes crumbly and I don't see any large chunks of butter. I don't want it, all the butter to disappear and for this to become a paste. That would be going too far. You want it to be just crumbly because the butter and the flour are going to cause the pastry to rise a little bit. Okay, I'm going to this down a bit. Doesn't take long. And on, in this little bowl here, I have some cold water. And these are our three ingredients for this pastry. That's about it. Now, I'm going to take two tablespoons of cold water and just kind of spread it around. And now, using the fork, I'm going to bring it together to make the dough. And off to the side here, I have a cookie sheet that does not have any coating on it, does not have any parchment paper or silk hat or anything. It's just a bare baking sheet. This is such a buttery recipe. It does not need a base. As a matter of fact, it would hinder it because this will help it crisp up a little bit better on the bottom. It's almost together. This is going to make two, two coffee cakes. And as I said, this is just the base, because after that, we're going to make a pot of choux top. Very different recipe. Okay, looks like a dough to me. I also love the pastry scraper. Wonderful tool in the kitchen. Bring the dough together. Don't play with it too much because you don't want to get it too warm. Divide it in half. And now on the, paper, on the sheet, I'm going to put it down. And we just, with our hands, want to press it out thin. If you can, you want to get it to like 12 by 3, 10 by 3, something like that. You don't want it too wide because this is going to puff. takes a little while to get it that thin and that long. All right, that's about it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these aside clean up my table, and then make the topping. So I'll be right back. I'm going to make the topping for the almond puff. And it's nothing more than a pot of choux dough. In my pot, I have one cup of water and one stick of butter, half a cup of butter. And I'm bringing it to a boil. Here I have one cup of flour, three eggs, and a little bit of almond extract because our pastry is going to be flavored almond. And this is almost ready. I still see some pieces of butter in there, so I don't want to take it off the fire just yet. And you need a wooden spoon. This is the best thing to mix this with. Take it off the fire, put in just a touch of almond, put in all the flour, and working quickly, blend it up. Put it back 
on the fire and keep beating until it all comes together and the pan almost becomes clean. And this is like 30 seconds. And there you go. That's done. Now we need a mixer. You can do this next step by hand if you want to. That is not. You can do this next step by hand if you want to, but it requires a lot of arm endurance. And it's so much easier to do it on the mixer. Pot on the mixer. Now, since this is very hot, I want to just sit it on the mixer for maybe 10 or 15 seconds. See all that steam that's coming out of it? If I started dumping the eggs and I, I risk scrambling them a little bit. Now, when you first put the eggs, you're going to put them in one at a time. When you first put it in, it's going to look almost like it curdled and everything. Just keep mixing. It'll come together. As they say, have faith. Okay. Here we go with the eggs, one at a time. Base. Ready to go. And by the way, the oven is heating for 350 degrees. Once I put these in, they're going to be in the oven for approximately 60 minutes. And they are going to really puff up. And here we go. This is kind of a making cream puffs at this point, or eclairs, we would be putting this into a piping bag and piping them in their various shapes. But we're just going to spread this on top. You could put this in a piping bag now and just squeeze it on and it would come out nice and even, but I don't see why in this particular recipe you have to do that. Let's divide this in half. There's a lot of this stuff. It seems like overkill, but sloppy here, that's okay. And again, this sheet is not greased in any way. My little offset. And I'm going to just spread this. Try to keep it as even as you can, even thickness across. Now there's a, a trick when you're making eclairs, supposedly, and it does work. I've, I've done it before. Um, to keep them all rising evenly instead of having one of these kind of things when it rises. And we're going to try it with this. I haven't tried it on this recipe, but I can't believe it wouldn't work. And that is to use a fork and just lightly go down the center and draw lines. I'm not sure why it works. And hopefully it'll work on this. Then after this is done, we cool it down, and it's nice and big and puffy. We'll be putting an icing on it and some nuts, and it'll be delicious. So now, into the oven, 350 degrees for approximately one hour. Check it after about 55 minutes. Every oven is different. Our almond puff is out of the oven. Puffs are out of the oven. You can see how the top has um, mounded up. We're going to put a nice little glaze on it and some nuts later. And when you cut into it, you're going to see the layers. And it's just going to be a really lovely coffee cake. But we can't touch it until it's totally cool. So I'm just going to put this in, on my counter and wait until it cools. And then I'll show you how to finish it off. I'm going to finish off the almond puffs now. Here they are out of the oven. You see they fell a little bit and they're all striated from the fork marks, and now we're going to top them off with some frosting. So I'm going to have, out of my bucket of confection sugar, I'm going to take out two cups of 
confection of sugar. And really, this, this, this part is not a science, so you don't have to be that exact because all you want is the texture. Uh, move that out of the way. I'm going to put my handy dandy kettle on. And now I'm going to add like half a teaspoon of almond because this has got almonds in it and we're going to top it with almonds. Just a little. Almonds are very strong, so be careful. And then I have some milk here. I don't know how much I'm going to use until it becomes of spreading consistency. Not spreading like a layer cake, but more like a glaze. And you'll see when I start pouring it in. It's probably going to take a couple of tablespoons. Wow, the smell of almond is it's unbelievable. I'm hitting the side to uh, make all of the, the uh, confection of sugar fall into the bowl. A little bit more. Here, but you can use a small uh, freezer Ziploc bag. That's about it. Okay. Let's get rid of that. And put this in the bag. You don't have to do it this way. You can actually just dump it right on and spread it around, but I don't know, I love using pastry bags. Mm. This, I'm telling you, is so good with a cup of tea. Well, coffee too, if you, that's your thing that you like. I like both. Depends on the time of day. generous tip on this kind of fat because I do want a lot of frosting on and I'm just going to start drizzling on frosting whatever design and however much you want and then I have some slivered almonds As the frosting dries, these almonds will stick and the frosting will harden. And, um, you know, if you keep this undercover, this coffee cake will still be good by the third day. But I got a funny feeling that if you take it out and show it to people, it probably won't last very long. Wow. That is so almondy. More almonds. And there you go. Those are our puffed up almond mini coffee cakes. I hope you try them. They're delicious.